This is one of Sally Joe's magic saltwater mollies. He's learned to eat Cladophora and he's just tearing it up. This is a little sailfin marble molly and they seem to like algae a lot more than the regular mollies. This is day, day two of the uh, fish and stuff challenge and I should have got more algae. They cleaned it up in one night. It's the uh, pink margaritas and the true turbo snails just completely cleaned that patch up. Quite a few people have called me up and written me emails saying they'd like to see the algae control lab here at Garf. This is a day when I haven't had a chance to clean up all the hoses and cords, but these are all 66 of the tanks that I use for grunge research and algae control. This is Texas Reef Challenge number two. This rock just got here from Texas. They've completely cleaned the other one. And one of the things that we're going to do this week is find the differences between the two types of hair algae, the one from the fish and stuff and the one from Texas. We'll get the microscopes out and, do some, and we will uh, find out what the differences are to these two algaes and try to key them out and identify them. They both seem to be pretty close. If you just looked at algae in your tank, it'd be just hair algae, but there's quite a difference between them. This is the uh, Texas Reef Challenge algae. It's kind of a very soft baby fur, and the Boise Reef Challenge is a little more coarse, a little bit of a, a larger diameter of algae and maybe a different branching structure, but we will find out before it's all gone and keep a sample of both of them so that we can grow some more. The, the mollies have decided they really like the stuff from Boise and they're going to clean it up.